Hey guys, welcome back to Forge again. It's James. Uh, today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna do a little something different today. Uh, out there at my smithy, when I'm working and everything, it's kind of loud. Uh, Forge is running, anvil, hammering, so on and so forth. I'm sure, you know what I mean. Uh, and sometimes I get visitors or somebody's walking out and they kind of sneak up on me. It startles me, you know. So. I'm gonna make a door knocker, <laughs> but it's not just gonna be an average door knocker. It's just gonna be a fun door knocker, something that uh, sort of like a sculpture door knocker. But uh, I got something drawn up over here on the board. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Not being much of an artist, but right here, you know I like making hammers. Obviously, you've seen my videos, but uh, so I thought it'd be appropriate to use a hammer for a door knocker, a little small hammer, nothing major. I'm not gonna go huge. I'm probably gonna use a half pound or smaller uh, billet for each one but as far as the knocker we're going to make the, the whole piece is going to be forged uh, welded to a plate we're going to forge this out the hanger steel uh, handle for the hammer we're going to make a miniature hammer head and then we're going to make a miniature little block anvil welded to the plate and then another hammer head we're just going to partially forge and then forge a miniature pair of tongs, connect those to the hammerhead, and weld that to the plate to where it looks like someone's holding a pair of tongs, holding a billet, and it's being forged. Every time you swing that hammer, it hits the billet, like you're forging the, the hammer. So, yeah, it, it may work out, it may not, but we're going to have some fun doing it. So, uh, hopefully my drawing's not too whacked out, and maybe you can see what I'm going for, hopefully. But yeah, I'm gonna get the forge lit and let's see if we can do right, this. Guys, we got some one inch square mild here. I went ahead and pre drilled my holes for my eyes on the two pieces that I've got for the hammer heads. Got them in the forge, gonna heat it up. They don't have to be anything carbon, high carbon or anything like that because it's just for decoration stuff. So just went with the one inch square mild, two inch pieces of the three hammer head and a three inch piece for the uh, striking anvil we're gonna make for it. So, got it in the forge, getting it hot. This hole open. Cheek up there, see? Working at high side. Cheeks where we want them. Soon we're gonna have to use a little tiny puller. Little tiny puller. Get in here, get it. Alright, that was done. Now let's uh let's try to put some pullers in this thing. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> we're gonna use the chase. I think it's gonna work perfect for the pullers on the cheeks.
now we're going to do some pullers around these cheeks, around these heads and faces, I mean. See if we can put them in without disturbing the other pullers. nice little taper here, okay? So I'm not gonna uh, put it in my guillotine or my monkey tool, excuse me, and make like the, uh, the, the shaft for the head to sit on.
now we're going to oval out this back end of this hammer handle. right here off. And clean that handle up. We'll seat it up and cut it off with our cutoff. Thing. Take it to the grinder and we'll clean it up on the on there. Get everything ready to go before we rivet that paint that uh, tenon down right there. So. All right, what I'm going to do is file in these fullers in the corners here. I don't have a fuller that small on my guillotine. To, do it do them corners and that'd be a pain to try to do with that chase so we're just going to file them in using a chainsaw file here.
one side of it filed in, rough file, do the other. That's what we're going for right there. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, there we have it. Now let's clean up our faces and our, the sides of our faces here on each side here. We're do that on the belt. It ain't gonna be perfect, but I think it's gonna do the job. It's gonna look exactly like we want. If we wire brush the body part here, get it up to 220 finish. Well, first we're gonna quench it in oil. We're not gonna. We're not trying to hard. I want the black oxide finish that you get uh, from oil. When you quench stuff in oil, you get a black oxide finish on it. Or, and I want that on this hammer, and then I'll come back and clean up the face, just the faces with the 220 grit and leave the body of it like it is okay so for now this thing's where I want it and start working on this handle all right I'm using a higher grit or a low grit like a 50 grit you see the lines in it the uh, sanding line think about leaving those in there see if they'll make it look like wood grain whenever we give it its oil treatment so I'm gonna try and take out a few more of these forge marks these little small puck marks and stuff but other than that, I think we're about done with this handle. There we go. Check that out. The head's not on there yet. We just set it on there, but she sits on there just fine. You know, once we get that head pinned on there, it's going to be our knocker, obviously. It's going to, just like that, we'll drill a hole here for our bracket that we're going to make to hang that from. Other head's almost done, already done. We just need to make the plate to mount everything in our bracket after we finish this hammer. on there good. She's not gonna move. Alright we're gonna heat it up. Do it one last time just to make sure she's in there good and tight. And then we're gonna cool the whole thing in oil. Brush it real good. Spoilers cleaned out, get all the scale out of them. oxide finish that it puts on there looks real nice. Now we'll just clean these faces up and the hammer's done. Maybe a wire brush to it or something. Wire wheel.
And that boy is done. Check that thing out, man. Solid. Thing ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Check it out, man. This thing is awesome. <laughs> okay, so our door knocker is almost done. All we have left to do on this part of the knocker is to drill the hole in it. But I think we're going to wait until we get the mount made that that is going to swing from. Like that. Whack. Whack. I think we're going to wait till we get the mount made before we drill the hole that way we can make sure we line them up alright guys there you go part one of the door knocker the hammer is done that puppy came out pretty cool I think this is turning out to be a pretty fun project the next one the next part of the video we're gonna work on the mountain bracket for this hammer and the plate that it's gonna rest on the actual plate that the door knocker goes on because um, we already got this one done that's as far as we're going with that head because it's going to rest on the striking anvil we're going to make so it looks like when this thing knocks it's going to be on that wood at my wall there so it's going to be loud it's, it's going to that's what it's going to sound like that with that hitting against it so yeah that's going on there just like it is we're not going to do anything else to it so yeah Part two is going to probably be finishing up the door knocker. So for now, we're going to call this part one the hammer. It's made out of mild steel and rebar handle. Forged it down, shaped it like a hammer handle. Drove it in there, tinted, riveted it down. It's solid as a rock, no wiggle at all. So, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the button, comment down below, tell me what you think about this project. I'm having a lot of fun with it, as you can tell by the smile on my face. Um, and make sure you subscribe so you can catch part two of this thing. And as always, thank you. And we're going to catch you on the next one. Have a good one.